<laughs> uh, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Sonic Unleashed Let's Play. So, some of you are probably wondering why this part wasn't uploaded on Monday. Well, apparently there was a technical hiccup in this video. And you know what, to tell you the truth, I had no idea that 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 happened. I had no idea that that happened. It's it just, when I was rendering the video and making it on the editing software, it looked perfectly fine to me, so it didn't seem like it had any issues, but apparently it had a, a little video issue where apparently it will show a later part of the level and then me doing the rest of the level overlaying the beginning because you can hear the sound effects at the very beginning of the the video because that's at the part of the stage I'm at and everything but no this other video is like overlaying it it's really hard to explain but it, I had no idea that I was gonna have an issue with that <clears throat> I mean I have I will admit this I kind of did see something a little bit uh, jarring when I edited it but that was only like I thought it was only something really small, and I thought it was only just because, you know, this computer's a piece of crap, because, folks, this ain't the best computer I have. I, I've said it time and time again that this computer is just utter crap. It's RAM is terrible, it's processor terrible, it's memory terrible. That's why I had to get, like, two external hard drives for just doing, you know, stuff from my commentary group I'm part of, and just the LPs themselves, because they take so much memory. Not only that, the editing software takes a lot of memory, and so does the Hapog's uh, recording software. And just, God, this computer is an utter piece of shit. But I got the technical hiccup fix, so... Anywho, now let's actually talk about the game for a sec. So, yeah, now we're at um, Missouri's nighttime stage, and it gets really... Uh, this is the start of where it gets a little bit puzzle-heavy for the uh, Sonic nighttime stages. As you can see, the Legend of Zelda uh, pushing blocks. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of games have the pushing blocks too, but yeah, most people are going to think of, you know, the Legend of Zelda and everything like that. And you're probably also wondering, how come I have 90 lives? My shield bar is full, my leash bar is full, my light bar is full. Well, guys, I'm using my first original file, the one where I have everything already maxed out for Sonic the Werehog when I had to re-record this because, guys, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I just don't give a shit about the fucking Werehog whatsoever, so I don't care if... I, I was actually thinking about originally uh, doing the file I did, you know, the LP on and everything, but, you know, just fuck it. I, I don't care. Just screw it. It's not worth it. <laughs> Anything to make this stage go by faster is fine with me. Originally, this video was supposed to be 18 minutes long, and now it's like 13 and 33 seconds, I think? Then again, it'll be 1332 or 1334 because, I don't know, sometimes YouTube likes to take away or add the extra second for some reason. Don't know why. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> that probably wasn't a pleasant sound for you guys, me clearing my throat. <laughs> when you rant for so much, you get so much phlegm in your throat. So yeah, like I said, in Missouri's nighttime stage, it gets a little more puzzle heavy. You'll see these um, platforms and you'll see switches. You gotta chuck the little guys at the switches in order for the platforms to activate. And I fell down. Oh well. In the original, um, in the original uh, video that I would that I had before, you know, it had a technical hiccup on me and everything. Um, I pretty much go around and explore the areas, you know, all the little areas where you can find the uh, records and the books and the videotapes and everything like that. Guys, I'm not showing it right now because, you know, it's not really that hard to find them. In fact, they're not really that out of place, so you won't have a hard time finding them whatsoever. It's this part right here. Where, where I am right now, currently, in the video, with me just smacking around those little puppy guys, that's where the video began with its technical hiccup. It's instead of showing the very beginning of the stage, it showed that part, and then just continued on through the rest of the uh, video until I get to the final final part, and then it started to cut back to when I actually beat the final part because actually, um, <laughs> my original run through of this for the LP, um, I died at least about two or three times. So you know, I didn't die this time because well, I'm fucking overpowered, but you know. At least you guys don't have to worry about me, you know, dying at least three times because I really had a hard time with the shield in here because, you know, 
uh, you won't be able to see it in here, but I swear to God, the shield is really, really, it's not worth it, because I think if I remember I stated previously in uh, previous parts, is that sometimes with the shield, the enemy can still clip through your shield and still hit you. That's so bullshit. That's bad programming in a nutshell. If you're going to have a shield, it should block, you know, all sorts of attacks. Like I said, it should not block, like, super ultra attacks, like humongous massive attacks, but still, it still should block some sort of <laughs> attack, regular or not. It's just, it's, it's horrible programming. It just really is. <sighs> I got nothing else to say, folks. <laughs> I just hate the Werehawk so much. I have nothing else to say about him whatsoever. But, you know, I it, there's nothing pleasing about these stages. I've already said it a million times. They're boring. They're monotonous. They just really are a snore fest. They're just not the best stages whatsoever. In fact, every single time I play this game, or when I play the LP for this game, you know, the footage you're watching right now, well, not this one, but the one you're going to see in the other parts, because I swear, the other parts are perfectly fine, at least to my knowledge, because I haven't really checked the other parts to see if they have any technical hiccups. I hope they don't. If it's just a stage problem, then there's no, there really is no uh, problem, you know, for me to re-record the stage and everything like that, and I will use the original file. If... Yeah, I will use the original file, because I was thinking, like, well, I can use the original file for uh, daytime stages, but for nighttime stages, I'll just use my uh, my uh, very first file with this, you know, when I max out on everything, but, nah, I'm just gonna, I'm probably just gonna use the original file, too. So, yeah, it's just, I don't like the Werehog stages whatsoever. There's people who actually do like the Werehog stages. Um, for those who actually do like the Werehog stages, can you... Can you please tell me why you like the Werehog stages in the comment section below? And don't say it's like, oh, this is my first Sonic game and my first uh, time I've ever uh, experienced this type of a uh, gameplay mechanic. No, 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 no. That's that, that's a that's sorry to say that's a pretty horrible reason to like Sonic the Werehog, because you know I could say the same thing about Devil May Cry. Oh, Devil May Cry was the first uh, melee combat game I ever played, and. You know, that's why I love it so much, because it's the first Melee Combat I ever played. It's like, Sorry to say, that's not a good reason. To me, the reasons of Sonic uh, Unleash's uh, Werehog stages is being so bland, it's so boring, and uh, apparently one of my friends got online. But as I was saying, so bland, boring, monotonous, and, you know, all the above, is just the combat itself. There's too many enemies plastered everywhere. The combat is not fluid. The Your combos don't really do that much to the enemies whatsoever. They expect you to max out your strength, so... Because, you know, like, in games like Devil May Cry, there are combos that actually do more damage than other combos do, and in here, you know, I have at least tried, like, every single combo that you can get in this game for Sonic the Werehog in my original file, the one you're watching right now, and I see no diff... There's no difference in them whatsoever. They all do the same amount of damage. It's just... They, they all kill the enemies in the end, but it's just, you they expect you to level up your strength and everything, and I, it, it, it's stupid, it's fucking stupid, and just, the stages can take you forever, since you start off pretty weak, and they overstate their welcome, because I, it took me 13 minutes to complete the stage on the technical hiccup run, but, um, on here, it only took me eight because I had maxed out on everything. Look, I maxed out my combat, my strength, my shield, unleash, life, and even speed and ring speed for Sonic. Just, ugh. For those who really do love the Werehog, please tell me why. I don't know why you love him so much, but please, please tell me why and make a good reason. You gotta have a really good reason why you like him. Professor Pickle! Are you alright? We got here as fast as we could. Mm. Professor? Um, hello? 
How dare they call this culinary concoction food? Look here. Do you see oh, this God. sorry excuse for those caterpillars on his face or are those his eyebrows? And three quarters of an inch thick upon it, one tablespoon of mayonnaise and a pinch of black pepper. The contents, fresh cucumber, sliced thinly, if you please. Am I quite right, Dale? I know I learned something here today. Professor, it's good to see you haven't changed. But tell me, what brings you here? The menu is hardly worth the trip, if you ask me. No, Professor. We came here to rescue you. Oh? Oh, I see. How rude of me. Right then, first things first. It's about time someone told well, that was easy. how to make a proper sandwich. You can file a complaint later, Professor. Let's get out of here before Eggman's welcoming committee shows up. Oh, yes, quite. But let us be sure to collect the contents of that vault before departing. Welcome, uh, punch! Uh, ah, thank you. Those documents are our only hope for surviving this crisis. Let's go. There's no time to lose. I'm half starved after being fed nothing but those terrible sandwiches. Want some chocolate, Professor? Again, with the my chocolate my pulling my out of his ass. Seriously, do. do you folks not see this? Do you really want something that's been a, uh, something that could be the equivalent of a chihuahua's asshole? Uh, uh, ew, just ew. I, I think I'd rather have those discussing uh, cucumber sandwiches he kept complaining about <sighs> these ancient documents are known as the Gaia manuscripts they tell the legend of a disaster that befell our planet some tens of thousands of years ago a disaster quite and according to the Gaia manuscripts this isn't the first time the planet has been broken apart into pieces <gasps> The cause lies at the very core of the planet. All the phenomena we've witnessed are the direct result of one creature. The hyper-energy organism spawned at the planet's core. Dark Gaia. So how do we stop this Dark Gaia and put the world back together? Luckily, Dark Gaia has yet to be fully reborn. We most likely have Dr. Eggman's premature wake-up call to thank for that. If we act now, we may be able to restore the planet by returning power to the Chaos Emeralds. Sonic, you must travel to each of the temples listed in the Gaia Manuscripts. The planet's power will restore the Chaos Emeralds, and in turn, the Chaos Emeralds will restore the planet and help it heal naturally. Oh my god, the Chaos Emeralds being used as a plot device? <gasps> that is so unheard of! Ah, <laughs> oh god. But folks, we're going to be continuing on through the game, figuring out how we're going to get the power back to the Chaos Emeralds, and who knows, maybe Missouri may tell us something, or maybe it won't. I don't know, I'm just pulling stuff at my ass. But folks, I'll see you next time for part 5. See you later.